today guys I got a Kakulkin build and a guide on the man. He absolutely slaps. One of my favorite warriors. This man's actually a lot of fun. Shout out to Daya Chabout. Sorry if I murdered your name, but let's get into the vid. All right, guys, let's talk about Kakulkin's passive. Kakulkin doesn't use mana. It's kind of weird. It's similar to like Yamoja. Yamoja doesn't use mana either, but anytime he gets any items that give him mana or MP5, it converts into his health by 20%. So 20% of whatever your mana would be is converted into health. Now, Kokokin goes into a berserk mode once he hits 85 on his rage meter, uh, your mana basically. Um, once that thing hits 85 for 3 seconds, so you get it from basic attacking or using abilities or taking damage, you turn into this big angry monster, all your abilities change, and they all have different cooldowns from your original kit. So feel free to spam all your abilities and stuff, because the cooldowns aren't going to affect your actual abilities. And, uh, Kukulkin turns into a monster for 20 seconds. He also gets bonus power when he turns into a monster. Let's talk about Kukulkin's 1. When you use Kukulkin's 1, it does damage and it reduces healing by 50%. Okay, now while you're in your Berserk mode, it stuns for 2 seconds and then it roots for 1. Now, when you hit this anytime in Rage mode or not, it restores back Rage. Now, if you hit minions, it restores 5 now, if you hit, like, an enemy god, it restores 8, and that can stack up to 18. So, you can't get any more rage from one ability more than 18 with your 1. And it uses 9 rage to use. So, if you hit an enemy god, you're trading 1 rage. So, I mean, that's a pretty decent trade. So, let's move on to Kukulkin's 2. Alright, let's talk about Kukulkin's 2. Kukulkin's 2 is called Vent Anger. And so, when he uses this, this increases his movement speed by 5%. It also does a big area damage around you. It uses 16 rage, which is quite a bit, but it's kind of useful. Also, when you go into berserk mode, this ability is automatically activated when you go into berserk mode. So just being around enemies can damage them. It's basically mystical mail, but it does physical damage instead. So let's talk about Kakulkin's 3. Kakulkin's 3 is basically a leap, as you can see. If you hit an enemy god with this, it gives you 8 rage back. And if you hit minions, it restores 5 rage. Now this could stack up to 18. It can't go any higher than getting 18 rage back for an ability. Now in Kukulkin's rage form, his berserk form, he does quite a bit, okay? He charges forward, damaging the enemies. Then he stuns them, and it costs zero rage. So it's an AoE charge. It's pretty nuts. That's kind of nice. I like that a lot. Kukulkin's ultimate knocks up enemies, and it also restores rage. 10 for a minion. 26 for a god, it could stack up to 36. So if you hit a minion and a god, it stacks up to 36 rage. Now in his berserk form, Kakulkin lets out a yell. It's an AoE, and it trembles the enemies for one second. So the, they won't be able to walk in a straight line. They'll be all like leaning over to the side. Their character will be going crazy. But this is what it looks like. It knocks up. If you compare this with like an Awelix, that's nuts. The cooldown's atrocious though. 100 seconds does that go down when you level it absolutely not wow that that's a that's a cooldown right there when playing kakulkin you want to level his one to max then his two any points you can put into your ultimate put him in there and then your three last also i forgot to mention but during rage mode his berserk mode when he's a giant monster all his abilities don't take any rage so keep that in mind. Before we get into the build, this isn't the end-all be-all, so feel free to change it up. It and Bluestone is what I love to start with this guy, just because you get that extra bit of tick damage. I like building Bluestone Brooch, but Corrupted Bluestone also slaps. Whatever you choose, they're very good items. Alright, my next pick is Mystical Mail. You get 200 HP, you get some physical protections, you get some crowd control reductions, and on top of all of that, you get the busted passive. Alright. This pulsates damage, magical damage. Now with your two, 
the amount of damage you're pumping out is ridiculous. This also scales with your level. So the higher level you are, Mystical Male will be dealing more damage to enemies. Let's move on to Berserker. Berserker gives you some attack speed, which you're going to be using to get a lot of your rage back. Alright, it gives you physical power, physical penetrations, it also gives you physical protections and attack speed. Anytime you get low, lower than 40% HP, you go berserk for 5 seconds. And this gives you 30 physical power and 20% increase to attack speed. That slaps. Now it wears off after 5 seconds, but in a bad situation, you could clutch up with it. it Runeforged Hammer, by far one of my favorite items in this game. Runeforged Hammer, anytime you hit an enemy with any sort of crowd control... This does not include knockbacks, uh, blinds, or grabs, but slows are on the table, stuns, roots, these are all hard crowd controls, silences, Kukulkan has a uh, stun and a root, so this is a good item. Now, Shogun absolutely slaps, okay? Shogun gives you some magical protections. HP, MP5, which is dumped into your health pool, and also 10% cooldown. If that wasn't enough, you also get a insane passive, which increases your attack speed by 30%, along with your allies. I mean, that doesn't really matter. You're just Kokulkin. You're not a team player. You're trying to get the big damage in here. Look how fast this attack speed is. Look at that. That's absolutely insane. I'm outboxing hunters with this. Talisman energy, 300 health, 60 magical protections, alright, that's good, that's good. Anytime you, anything dies around you, minions, jungle buffs, bosses, enemy gods, you get energy stacks. Now that these energy stacks increase your movement speed by 2%, your attack speed by 2%, and your MP5 by 10 per stack. This could stack up to 6 times for 10 seconds. That's a bunch of stuff from one item, and this also affects your allies, too. So this slaps. If you could replace one of these items with shifters, shifters slaps. Shifters is basically, if you're above 75 HP, you get more physical power. If you're below, you get 40 protections in both magical and physical. Void shield lowers enemies' physical protections by 15%. If they're around you, this slaps. If you feel wacky and absolutely insane, you could throw Soul Eater on this man, and it's so much fun. Uh, but I think that's enough. This is a good place to work from if you haven't played Kukulkan, and feel free to tweak the build and change it up. But if you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!